Because it's not about arresting people. It's about stopping crime from happening. It's a deterrent. That is Cleveland City Councilman Mike Polensic once again speaking out on staffing shortages at the police department. He says hundreds of officers are eligible for retirement and the city, he believes, is not doing enough to recruit. And he's got a plan he thinks will help make becoming a Cleveland police officer more attractive. Matt Ruscone joins us now with more on that and efforts across the area. Hi, Matt. Hey, Russ. The Akron Police Department is trying to get ahead with their recruitment and they're moving in the right direction. But it's a much different story, as you said, in Cleveland. And the safety committee chair says it is long overdue. The problems in the streets are severe. It's not a new problem in Cleveland. This has been brewing for years. But the longer the police shortage drags on, the more dire the situation at the Cleveland Police Department could become. I'm sick of seeing the violence. I'm sick of seeing Cleveland at the top of the negative indicators in this country. City Councilman Mike Palenzik says around 300 officers are eligible for retirement. And there's only 22 in the pipeline to replace them. Give me a break, will you? That ain't going to cut it. That's on top of a shortage of 230 officers. One reason why Polenzik says this aging problem needs a new solution, like a $10,000 sign-on bonus. It's not an issue of money. It's about recruitment. The money's there. As departments across the country grapple with recruitment, Akron police are finding success. So we're just really trying to increase our staffing levels to get back up to our budgeted strength, which in turn will uh, boost our morale. The agency has 429 officers. The goal is 470, and they're getting there. You look at it uh, from the same standpoint of like a college recruiting aspect. Sergeant Mike Murphy says they offer a $2,000 sign-on bonus, plus full pay for the 32 candidates in their academy. And I think that's a big selling point for us. Cleveland offers $16 an hour in the academy, then pay goes up. And like the proposed bonuses, officers would have to pay back money if they leave within five years. If we don't offer more money, we're, we can't compete. We just can't compete. I reached out to CPD and the mayor's office, and they told me the city is actively exploring options to recruit. They said their goal is to offer immediate relief and create a long-term solution to those staffing challenges. We also looked into what other police departments across Northeast Ohio are offering to new officers. And you can find more in our story on WKYC.com. Russ? All very interesting. Matt Rescone, thank you. Yeah.